turn the radio off. Good morning, guys. Um, I'm just wanting to say hey, and there's Braxy waking up. I pulled over because um, I have really good service down here on my phone. I'm getting ready to get a new phone, so that's part of the reason my videos have been uh, kind of tapered off because I haven't had great service because we live up in the woods on the side of a mountain and the phone that I had before I moved um, the towers don't they aren't in this area so um, we're in Virginia now so there's only Sprint Tower so I'm gonna get uh, a new phone in the next week or two it's okay Brax and um, yeah so anyway I just want to say hey um, I was going through the drive-thru the only fast food place that we have where I moved is a Burger King and we have a Denny's um, too that's a restaurant so sometimes I'm completely out of coffee at my house so I stopped uh, to get a coffee this morning after I took the boys to school and um, an oatmeal because I'm like today I'm just I have a lot of stuff to do that I wanted to get done and for some reason there's something about just getting the little oatmeals out I don't get it with any added sugar or anything like that just some nuts and fruit and um, so anyway the the person in front of me uh, for some reason I attract construction type workers um, like my husband so there's this guy in front of me and he's he like is looking in his rearview mirror and he smiles he looked like Sam Elliott if you guys don't know who that is but he looked like Sam Elliott because I was like oh my goodness <laughs> that's Sam Elliott ahead of me anyway he paid for my breakfast um, so that started my day off very cheery and of course I waved and thanked him but he was already like leaving um, it was just a kind deed um, so I didn't like doing dishes because my hands were already dry and cracky um, and I am repairing them using Coca or Crisco. One of you recommended Crisco, and I'm masking it, like making it smell better using like a natural lemon lotion. I put gloves on, I sleep in it, and my hands are getting so nice and soft again. So that was great. That was a great affordable recommendation. Okay, so I have to do dishes now manually, um, which isn't a problem if my hands weren't so dry um, because I don't mind it. But what I've done is turned something that is kind of unenjoyable or boring and I've made it an actual pleasant chore like it's enjoyable for me now and this is what I'm talking about you know every day we all have things that we have to get through we have to do so why not find a way personally to make that something that just is an enjoyable activity since you have to do it every day to make it a pleasant experience one that you're not um, dreading right because anything that creates stress sort of brings us down and is not as good for us so um, I've never been someone that minds chores uh, it's just life and I've always done chores even since I was little so but I just realized like oh my gosh I have to do more dishes my hands are already cracking so what I did is just turned it around okay so I went and bought really cute little um, gloves so they're purple and they completely keep my hands from um, any moisture then and sometimes I even put lotion on before I put them on so then again it it helps to heal my hands um, I went and bought an absolutely fantastic soap made with it's cruelty free not tested on animals biodegradable um, the ingredients are at least 98 naturally derived so uh, but it smells like basil it's basil soap Roxy. Um, it smells like basil it's very earthy very organic smelling coffee and um, I love it I found out like I'm somebody that actually loves things that smell good that's why I love candles um, and the neat thing is we all sort of are no brassy no don't put it in your mouth we all are different scents um, are pleasing to us you know we're all different so I had no idea I was like I'm just 
I'm just going to try this because I love basil anyway, but I was thinking, I, you know, it would just be a one-time buy, right? Because they had lemon. I knew I like lemon. So, but what I do is I take a fresh lemon and, um, or leftover from like putting it in my hot water and I put it down the disposal and grind it up so my sink smells fresh like lemon. And I do that after I do the dishes. So, um, it's a very awakening scent to me. Um, anyway, I run a dish full of water, put the basil soap in there, make all these bubbles, use these gloves. My hands are completely not affected. I turn on my smooth jazz. Hold on, Braxy. I turn on my smooth jazz music and get through my dishes. And I enjoy it. Um, it goes by really quickly. It's almost kind of... Uh, therapeutic. Yeah, I don't mind it at all anymore. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Yeah. What color is that? What color is your lemon? Yellow. It's yellow. Say it louder. Good. What color? Um, a book. That's a book. Yeah. I'm reading The Shag. It is fantastic. Fantastic. It's a great book. A friend got it for my birthday. Thank you, Bella. <laughs> okay. Say Happy Wednesday. Where Where's Gabe and Riley? Where did they go? Are we going to go get Daddy something for Valentine's Day? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're, um... I think we're going to go to TJ Maxx and they carry, um, his favorite... In my favorite on him. It smells so good on him. It's Tommy Bahama and it smells like wood smoke. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, it's like this rich, earthy, strong, and it just smells like him. The first time I smelled it, he's he used to wear so many other different scents when I first met him. And they all smelled good, but this smelled just like him. And he's already gone through three bottles. So, uh, he has not had it in probably six months, so I can't wait to get it for him again. Um, and then we're going to go out for a really nice dinner and um, have a family night. I don't know what we'll get into. We're not big on making plans because every time we make plans, they seem to just not turn out or kind of disappoint. So we don't want our expectations to get in the way. So we're just going, that's how we do things. We just kind of go with it and we always end up having more, more fun. I want to make some sort of healthy dessert um, snack or something for you all tomorrow. I think, I know what I'm going to make, but I'm not sure. I want it to be something that most of you could make or I want the ingredients to be accessible to you guys. So uh, look for that probably tomorrow, and um, have a really great day, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye-bye.